What's up, what's up, my beautiful people? I hope everybody's doing muy magnifico as per usual. As you can see, we're about to get a reading in. I pulled this deck out in the middle of my last reading. And it was just calling my name, calling my name. Figure we had to get a reading in. All right, as you've seen, we shuffled and split the deck. In the bottom of the deck, we have judgment. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. It's, are, it's, oh, are we... Tr this is I'm feeling like this is transformative energy effort all right now I know the judgment is all about making a final decision a final call but I see this as you should know the snake has clearly shed his skin is moving forward is growing something a final decision has moved in our favor and I believe it's time for change okay wow 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 okay very powerful energy I'm loving it let's start off knight of swords okay maybe there's some sort of conversation coming in i'm not sure just yet but it's something that somebody has definitely been in their head about with the eight of swords bottom of the deck nervous not sure how this is going to turn out it looks like we have the owls here signifying that ancestors are around us all right so this communication all right it's coming in with the swiftness all right swords down so clearly this energy is willing to talk all right the fool all right, now they're approaching this this situation rather delicately. All right, they don't want anything to to happen to go wrong. Looks like they're walking onto delicate territory with a possible gentle being. All right, they've taken time to sit back and think about things, to rest. Looks like they were in hedgehog mode. All right, and they really made this final decision. They really. They really nurtured themselves. They really took time to themselves to really think about this. And that's possibly what's helping the nervous and the nerves and the anxiety. All right. Not sure how this is going to turn out because you actually want something. This is a new beginning. This fool is a brand new beginning. As you can see, that's a zero. All right. This entire tarot deck is about this fool on his journey through life or through, you know, this chapter until he closes out the cycle and begins a new cycle until, you know, and it just keeps going over and over again. Alrighty, so this energy really wants this, and I can just see it all in the eyes of them. I don't know what's going on with the hair. The hair looks just like, dude, what's up? I see you. Hey, uh, uh you're a little heavy, but but we see change happen. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on. So we have Queen of Wands, very confident, very courageous, down to earth. All right, she's heading straight towards wish fulfillment. She sees what she wants. All right. And it looks like, if I'm not mistaken, she has a, a message, a fiery message to pass off, to hand off to something that she sees as wish fulfillment. Ouch. You feel me? Ouch. That's what I'm talking about, Queen of Wands. OK, so the Queen of Wands seems to be the energy that will be initiating this conversation. OK, I like it. So she's the one approaching. She is the wolf. She is the hunter okay and the crazy thing is the lions the feminine energy is the hunter right you know what i mean the masculine energy stays back but the fe the female lions are the lions that do the hunting that's interesting let's keep moving okay i love this deck guys i try not to pull it out too often because i don't want us getting tired of it but i love this deck so much let's keep moving all right so she's confident she knows what she wants. She knows where she's going. She holds her own. Very much courageous. Very much confident. I want to say stubborn. <laughs> I don't know where that's coming from. But, you know, it's about that time. Uh, honestly, it's looking like she's waited for this. All right, she's been daydreaming about this with the Seven of Cups over here. Waiting for this opportunity, if I'm not mistaken. The rabbit is daydreaming about this, right? Rabbit, rabbit, bunny, right? So maybe they both manifested this, managed to create this. All right, now it seems that the Queen of Wands is having some anxiety. All right, looks like she's protecting something. She's protecting a child or she's protecting some sort of cub of, you know, something that is precious to her. All right, and maybe it's the fact that she wants to work with this king of pentacles and she just managed to not disclose it right okay notice that we have a buck 
All right, a buck symbolizes the divine masculine energy. Okay, very very beautiful, beautiful energy. Okay. So she's getting nudged to move forward. These birds are on her. These birds are all on her about the situation. Oh, okay. All right, let's see what we got here. We have the star. That wish fulfillment. Okay. Oh, we've created a burden with the king of pentacles. With the one we want to commit to. With the one she wants to commit to. There's a burden. Guys, we have a problem. We can't get this party moving just yet. From the looks of it, the stream's blocked off. Alright. Something has blocked the stream. Truth and clarity, Ace of Swords. All right, so there's definitely a blockage. They need to transform the situation. I'm not sure what happened. It seems like, I want to say they are, I don't know. Maybe the situation is completely done. It needs to be revived. As you can see, it's as if this owl, our ancestor, is reviving this little mouse or I'm taking them from rough territories. As you look at the bottom, you notice that there's uh, eyes. So maybe they were hunting this particular mouse, right? So, let's keep going. All right, and then it's the Empress and the High Priestess. So she wasn't aware of this energy. She wants to. She wants us to swim upstream. It's almost as if her ancestors are pushing her in this direction. There's, there's something that may be hidden from us with this high priestess over here. Let's see what that is. Let's see what the high priestess is talking about. Three of swords. Somebody may be upset. Feelings may be hurt. That the that things didn't move with the wheel of fortune. That the that the wind that the wheel never spun in their direction. Let's see what the high priestess is all about. Alrighty. Temperance, reconcile, coming together, peace, harmony, joy, justice. What do we know that needs to happen? This conversation to bring peace, to balance the scales, so these two can have this spiritual new beginning. The bat is a very spiritual animal. All right, so it's like... The knowing, the knowing is there. There we go. The knowing of that we need to balance the scales because this may be their better half. Okay, very good. Anything else? The lovers, oh Gemini. Oh, Gemini, how you sneak in here? Bottom deck, we have the Queen of Swords. Ten of Cups. She's choosing this Ten of Cups. Queen of Swords is coming for her Ten of Cups. All right, she's gonna make she's gonna make this happen. She's ready to hop in this in cahoots with her. So I'm sorry, the Empress's face was covered. I don't like that, so we're gonna fix that. Wow. Okay. All right, much better. So, um, what was that? Yeah, so the queen, the queen of swords looks to be choosing to run towards her queen, her ten of cups. All right, she's going towards the ten of cups. She said, there's no other option. I cannot. I refuse. This is the one. I did all this growth, all these changes for my ten of cups. I did all this healing with the four of swords here, right? Four of swords here for my ten of cups. This is my ten of cups. This is my happily ever after tower at the bottom so she's coming in she's charging like a bad at a, you know what i mean she's like no this is my happily ever after all right she sees clearly what's going on now the ones passion lots of passion i see passion lots and lots of passion okay they want this i don't know if she sees money or she just wants to create this but 
Ten of Pentacles, generational wealth and success, a family legacy. Beautiful. Okay, let's keep going. What is this? The Hermit reversed. So, yeah, so she's coming out of hiding. Apparently, she was sneaking around. Remember how the last few readings have been exactly the same? All right, looks like this is the continuation. This is the one where she reveals everything. She comes out and says, hey, I know this is what it is. Hermit reversed. I'm very proud of you. Very proud of you. And I also like the way you're using your mind and your passion. I normally I say it's the mind and the cups, the emotions. But, you know, your, your sword is keeping you in check. Do I charge after it? Nah, let's relax. Dial it back. Let's do some research, some intel. I love that. And I love the way you're only flexing the queens. All right. You're not too aggressive. It's not too much. It's nice and calm. I really like your vibe. Really, I love your vibe. Love your energy. Okay. So let's go. So the revealing moment is up. It's about to be up. She's going to be approaching this energy. Uh, I'm sorry. I said approaching. What I meant to say was mm, she somebody got their feelings hurt in this situation. But we're going to leave that there. We're not going to discuss that. All right. Six of Cups. She's coming back around. All right. She's coming back around to speak and looks happy, if you ask me. Six of Swords to change things. To change the dynamic. All right. Okay. To change his broken heart, I'm saying. Okay. Wow. All right. We're going to wrap this up here. This is a pop and read. So then the wheel of fortune will spin. I never realized, but there's a snake in the middle of here. So it's as if we have a snake, we have bats, we have spiders we have owls i don't know what those are but it looks like times are changing it's about time for them to go into their place in this ring all right they have to contribute to this as well all right three of pentacles three of swords ouch okay page of pentacles so she has an offer to bring, to transform with the death card here. She has an offer to give to that nine of pentacles, which will heal this rift and get this, get this wheel spinning in their favor. She's approaching her masculine. She's got her pumas on. She's got her pumas on. Oh, man, we got another reversal over there. All right, so something may still be hidden. All right. King of Cups. Will he give me my... Will he give... Will he give me his cup? There you go. She's questioning if this masculine energy will give her his cup. Will they have this passionate new beginning together? Yes, woman. Yes. Stop playing, man. It's year the twos. It's year the twos. Stop playing, girl. We don't got time for that. We ain't got time for that. It's year the twos. Stop playing. He is a deeply compassionate energy. Yes, he's very much emotionally intelligent and emotionally aware. So again, if you speak to this energy, have a good conversation, especially being that this is a divine masculine. I don't. I don't see why there wouldn't be an issue with him expressing his love for you. Six of Wands, victory and success, exactly. Ace of Cups, and then that will begin your new beginning. So shout out to these two. I'm extremely proud of the Queen of Swords, Queen of Wands energy for coming forth. We see victory. We see you dancing around like King Julian. You don't know about it? Get on Netflix and check it out, okay? All right, I see happiness, public recognition, success between the two. You guys openly expressing your love and honestly, it's not too often that we really see two counterparts who are equally yoked. And from the past few readings, we've seen two literally now to the fact that she's finally ready to come out of her mood and reveal everything that it's time. It's time. All right. So um, I wish these two the best. Uh, this is going to be phenomenal. This is beautiful energy. This is the Ace of Cups. Brand new, beautiful beginning a life together you see the butterfly just chilling there yes this is for you guys 
okay? Queen of Pentacles, this is for you. This is your new beginning. This is everything that you are deserving of. Congratulations. I'm proud of you for stepping up. I'm proud of you for taking accountability. And I have no doubt that your masculine will accept you with open arms. All right, so hope you guys enjoyed this reading. 15.15 on the clock, and we're out of here. Love and like, guys. Thank you.